Welcome to Wednesday of the Passion Week. You know, it's remarkable because Wednesday is really for Jesus, our Lord, a day of silence. There's really nothing that happens in His life that day that we're told. And that makes it the perfect day for what does happen. It's the first time in the week that Judas has had the opportunity to betray Him. The way the events unfold as you'll read them is that there is a meeting in the court of Caiaphas, probably at his home, of a number of the leaders of the nation to talk about how to solve the Jesus problem. About six to eight weeks before this, right after the raising of Lazarus, the Sanhedrin, the official government of the nation, had convened an official session to discuss what to do about Jesus. And they had concluded then You can read about it in John chapter 11 that they were going, in fact, to kill Jesus. He had to go to save the nation. They meant it politically, but Caiaphas, being being the high priest that year, we're told spoke like a prophet and referred actually to the spiritual sacrifice of Christ for the nation. But in light of that decision to kill Jesus, somehow they had to carry it off. And What you'll read about is that they convened this informal meeting of some of the key leaders of the Sanhedrin at the home of Caiaphas to talk about exactly how to carry this out. And and they conclude that it can't happen during the Passover week because there are too many people there. Uh, Rome would have been there with greater influence, greater number of Roman soldiers. In addition, you had all the people gathered Hundreds of thousands of people would have come together for Passover, many of them from Galilee where Jesus' influence was much greater, and they simply didn't want to risk a possible riot. And so they determined it can happen during the Passover. Ironically, just as they're finishing up their meeting, Judas shows up because they had a plan, but God had a greater plan. God had decided that His son, the perfect Passover lamb, had to die on Passover 1,400 years before at the Exodus. And so, in fact, that's exactly what transpires. And the way it all sets up, you'll read about, is Judas shows up and offers to betray Jesus for money. Here was a man driven by greed, driven by covetousness. That was made clear even on the Saturday night before when he criticized Mary for the, the lavish love that she showed at Jesus by wasting, in his mind, the precious ointment. And so this is his mind. This is what drives him. And now he's willing to sell Jesus out uh, for 30 pieces of silver, the price of a slave. And so the, the leaders of the nation are thrilled because here's a way they can do it right away because An insider, Judas, can help them know where Jesus is and when he's essentially alone so that he can be arrested without incident, without riot. And so this is what happens on Wednesday. 